Today's Tuesday, November, and I just found out we have another round of Fujifilm firmware updates. Here we go. Well, hi there. <laughs> I'm joking. Let me try it again. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Pal to Tech. Fujifilm just announced today new firmware updates for the following cameras the X-T3 and the X-T4, the X-S10, and the X-T30 and the X-T32. Now, all of these cameras are receiving the exact same firmware update, and this firmware update contains two parts. The first are the typical bug fixes. Once again, I don't know what bugs are being fixed. The Fujifilm firmware update website just simply says bug fixes. Bugs will be fixed. That's about the best I can tell you. Now, the second part of the firmware update is actually a bit more interesting, and it has to do with getting these older cameras compatible with a brand new accessory called the TGBT1 tripod grip. This is basically a Bluetooth wireless remote control flexible tilt tripod that connects to your Fujifilm camera through the one quarter inch 20 hole at the bottom. And it will allow you to control the camera's shutter release button for both stills and movie mode, as well as control the zoom of the lens provided that your lens is equipped with a power zoom. It's also weather resistant and it weighs approximately 205 and a half grams, not including the battery. Now, if you have an X-T5 camera, you don't need to get the firmware update because your camera will already work with the TGB1 tripod grip. Now, unfortunately, I don't have this accessory here that I can actually show it to you. However, I do have another accessory very similar to it. Let's go get it. This is almost the exact same unit, but for the Sony ZV-1 camera. I know that I'm talking about Sony today, just bear with me. Now, just like the upcoming Fujifilm tripod grip, this grip has a photo and movie controller and a lock switch and the ability to zoom in and out with the lens. However, the Sony actually has an additional custom button that you can program to do whatever you want. Now, similar to the Fuji, it can bend forward and backward just like this. And when you're not holding it, obviously, you can pop out the legs and then boom, it can go on your table. And for vlogging with the ZV-1, this thing is actually very, very handy. And just like the upcoming Fujifilm grip, you can press this back button and swivel the unit around just like this. Now, while these type of grips are actually really handy to have, especially if you're vlogging, there's a couple of things that I've noticed about them. The first has to do with the Fujifilm LCD screen on the back of the camera. For example, if you have an X-T4, then this is pretty straightforward. You can flip out the screen, right? And you're good to go. You attach the grip, boom, you've got your selfie screen right here, and it's a perfect vlogging little handle tripod that you can quickly put down, pick up, and you can see yourself. It works great for that. The problem comes into play if you're on an X-T5 or an X-T3 that doesn't have that flip around screen, you're not going to be able to obviously see yourself very easily while you're filming. So like in this case, with an X-T5 if I wanted to, you know, bend it this way, just like this, and then I want to hold it right here and do a little bit of vlogging, I can't see myself. I'm going to have to come up with some other solution. A lot of people have said, you know, put a mirror on here. Well, that's great, but what if you have a mic mounted to it, right? So there's things you just have to think about for what you're going to be using it for, because this is about as far out as this articulating screen is going to get. And so that leads me to the second purpose of having this, and that would be so that you can have it as sort of a tabletop tripod, right? right? Boom, you just put it down. And for the most part, that works pretty well. Even with this heavy lens, okay, which this lens is relatively heavy, on the X-T5 with the Sony unit, and remember, the Fuji one's gonna be different, but with the Sony unit, which is rather small, I put it right down, there it is, it's pretty steady. However, when you go to angle it down, right, and you turn it like this, now it's a bit top heavy, you see that? And you definitely would not want to use it with a long lens <laughs> or a long heavy lens. I mean, I guess you could make it work, but to a point. So now if you're not using it as a vlogging camera and now you're holding the camera, you have your controls right here, okay? So I mean, yeah, you've got them 
right handy for your thumb, right? You can take a shot or hit movie, but something to keep in mind, this is gonna be $200, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I don't know. This is one of those accessories that I really need to try out and see and review, which I plan on doing. I'm gonna try and get one for the studio. In the meantime, I wanted to at least kind of show you what they're talking about for that firmware update. And yes, to be clear, this is a Sony unit, but the Fujifilm one is pretty similar, at least from what I can see in the specs. Anyhow, even if you're not planning on getting or using one of these things, or you wanna wait until my review, I totally Totally understand. However, you should consider getting the firmware update anyway, as anytime bug fixes are taken care of, that's a good thing. As I've said before on this channel on every firmware update video I have made, make sure that you are not putting the firmware update, you know, at least for the first few weeks on any camera that you need as your primary source of income. I would just wait a few weeks if you can do that just to make sure that there's no last minute issues that arise, you know, from that firmware update that people have had. Anyhow, that wraps up today's firmware update. I've got some other updates for you about this channel and Backstage and Gear Iguana in particular, but I'm gonna save them for my next video because it just is better that way. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will see you very soon in a new video. Take care.